Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time, but the reason is because I've had school and all that kind of stuff, so I'm just now out of school. It's summer, so I'm going to start filming more stuff. And speaking of that, today we're going to do a full face first impression. Sorry, my voice is a little crazy. I am sick right now, um, but I'm still going to get a video up. So I'm going to be trying the primer mask. This is just the Sephora brand. <coughs> And you're only going for 10 minutes. And I saw who I see just somebody just tried this and I can't remember who it was. But I've had it in my drawer for a while. I was like, why not give it a go? I think it was. Oh, it's like. Hmm. It's like that. It's a little scary. I can't remember who it was. I think it I think it was Kathleen Light. It's like that's who's coming up in my head. So I'm going to leave this on my face and then I'll come back and tell y'all what I think about it. Okay, I'm back. It's been a little bit more than three minutes. I feel like you could definitely leave this on longer for then. Um, it says to rub the rest of this stuff in. I don't know, it seems a little bit crazy. There's a lot of stuff left over. Like, look at that. That's like a lot. I'm hoping this like... I have to wipe some of this off. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and kind of press it into the skin. But um, I'm gonna add another primer, and I've been liking the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This stuff really grips on your skin, and it does have like a tacky feeling. And I really, actually, have been really liking it doesn't cake up as bad when I wear this primer it really stays in place it's looking nice and glowy so I did pick up some goodies for Ulta yesterday and that's what we're going to be using for concealer and foundation so I did repurchase the revolution foundation um, in a different shade because it is summer here now and Good old Kentucky. Dark. So we're just gonna see how this is gonna go. But I really love this foundation. It's really nice. Okay, it's a little dark, but I'll make it work. Because I think I had one. I think I did have one. I couldn't remember, but I think yeah, this one should be fine. Because I have a really low light concealer. Because it's literally the only shade they had. They had that one, and then they had peach. I'm like, I'm not no peach. So I had to get that concealer. I think this is the second, it's like white. Love it. This, 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 my skin's like looking so pretty with everything going on so far. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this foundation just in some areas. Cream bronze my skin and we'll be back to dry the concealer. Okay, so, oh, I forgot. One spot. Okay, so cream bronzer is done. Now we're going to go on to concealer. This is a 16 hour cameo concealer from e.l.f. <coughs> okay, so first thoughts. A lot comes off on the brush so far. Ooh, that's a lot. I feel like that's a lot. So far it looks pretty on the forehead. looking so far so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face um under my eyes with the Maybelline fit me powder you guys know I love this powder and then I have another powder for like the rest of the face so I do have a new powder to try it is the Becca hydro mist and set refresh powder so I got it in like a little sample kit thingy from sephora like sephora faves or whatever 
And so I've been trying this powder and it's weird. Like it's really weird. So it feels wet when you put it on your face. Just like really, I don't understand. Like when you touch it, it does not feel wet. But when you take it and you put it on your skin, like it feels wet. I don't know, maybe that's what it's called. Like hydro. I don't really know. But I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this powder. Sorry. I don't have a new bronzer or any other face products. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll leave. Okay, so I am going to spray my face with a newer setting spray, and this is the Ready, Set, Radiant Mist by Tarte. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face with this before we do highlighter. I don't think it's like so radiant like as it claims to be. It's not like super radiant, but it's like okay. Okay, and I'm going to do brows off camera and we'll come back to do lips on camera and eyeshadow because I have a new eyeshadow brush and lipstick. Okay, so I have the Morphe lipstick in shade Vanity and we're going to try that today. I've used another lipstick from them before in shade Schoolgirl. I knew I got that one because I was like, oh, I don't know which one I already have. But this one's in Vanity, so I'm going to put this on. I love the formula of the other one, so... I'm sure to disappoint. This formula looks great because it is <coughs> dry and make your lips like super cracky, which I like. And now I'm gonna try this brush. It's called the Eye Blender Brush. From Essence, it was literally a dollar seventy-five with my coupon. I was like, okay. Morphe, and we're gonna pop a transition shade into the crease, and we're gonna see. So it packs up, it packs up color pretty nicely. Like that's literally, I just like barely dipped it in there, and it really packed. Like the brush holds a lot of product, which is like really nice. See how it blends. It's a little stiff. Like it's not like super soft. I actually really like this lipstick color. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add that on the lower lash line too. It's like light, like kind of movie color. I'm gonna go in with that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going off a of And then I'm gonna set that with like a medium brown, like the light brown that we went in first. I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of press over it. into that blending brush and just point out the edges okay 
I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be back with a completed look. Okay, so here's the completed makeup look. Um, I'm gonna give you like my final thoughts and everything. So give me one second. <coughs> so anyway, so I like all the, I like everything. Honestly, I didn't have a problem with anything. Everything looks pretty nice. The only thing that I really like, didn't really like that much. I didn't see the point about was the powder. Like it just, I don't feel like it's gonna last that long on my skin. Um, or keep my skin matte. That's the only thing I really didn't like. Everything else, I mean, it looks pretty nice to be up close. I did apply this a gloss over time. This is just a Rimmel gloss. So, here you go. Alright guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.